I reckon you didn't do it then. Why do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Not for me. Because guys in your position already said it enough? Followed your case a little bit, you being a making boy and all. You're from Macon, then? Yep. Came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the 70s. Always wanted to work a murder case. Like that senatorial mess you got yourself mixed up in. With all due respect. A real shame, that is. Hell. The whole family used to be regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. Still there? Sure is. Good. Be advised, uh, medical personnel and route to Hearts of the Oak, various 10 to 20 coming in. Any of that seem important to you? All of it. But that box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you'll drive yourself crazy. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on a six year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? Sure. Regardless. Could be you just married the wrong woman. driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella. Big, soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. Officers are available for incoming to what's... Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. Not tell him he's got to stop. That's government property and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Maybe he was innocent. Innocent? They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Oh, I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do say so. This other time... Oh.
Ow! Shit! Thirsty. Ah! Fuck! My leg! Why the hell did he have his gun out? Maybe it was tossed from the car during the wreck. Hey! Hey, officer! Are you alright? I'm still cuffed back here! Officer? Oh, that doesn't look good. He wasn't ejected from the car. He's not moving. He must have the handcuff keys on him. He must have the handcuff keys on him. I need to drag myself out that window. Officer's shotgun is over there. Looks empty. It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs off. Officer? God damn. Officer? God damn. Shit. 
What the hell is this? Are you dead? Hey! Are you dead? Someone! There, there's been a shooting! Hello? Anybody? I should just check inside the house through the glass door before wandering out into the neighborhood. <laughs> 